Hey guys, I'm Buzz with CrossFit Lacey Training Day. Today we're going to be going over the rower. We're going to go over the proper movement along with some common faults. Okay, so I'm going to break the rowing down into four different elements. The first being leg drive, the second being torso flexion and extension, the third being the arm pull, and then fourth be the recovery back down to that catch position. All right, so starting out with a good position, I've got my handle, my chest, my torso. I'm thinking about going at 11 o'clock if I'm looking at a watch, and then in extension, I'm going to be at 1 o'clock. So 11 to 1 is my range. So down at the bottom, chest is up, slightly bent over. I want my shoulders in front of my hips. As I drive with my legs, my torso starts to extend. Once I get to that one o'clock position, then I start my arm pull. Important on the arm pull, I'm not rowing to my face, I'm rowing right to my chest, and I'm looking for a neutral wrist. Wrist. I don't want wrist flexion, I don't want wrist extension. Next, as soon as I touch my chest, I'm gonna do a quick release out that'll start that movement back in, and I catch here. I don't wanna overextend, trying to reach that handle in, and I don't wanna stop with my chest upright. My shoulders are coming right in front of my hips. So nice, easy. Each movement leads into the other, just as if I was doing a clean or a snatch. My legs start it, transfers through my torso, to my arms. All right guys, thanks for checking it out. If you guys want to learn more about the rower, go to our YouTube channel. We're going to break down more about setting the dampener, setting the rower up to you, and go in depth on a few of the technicalities with the movement. All right guys, thanks for checking it out.